So myelofibrosis is a hematopoietic stem cell malignancy. Um, the prevalence is not well described, so I don't think we know exactly what the prevalence truly is, but is estimated to be around one to two people per 100,000. Estimated mean survival of patients with myelofibrosis approaches six to seven years. Uh, the patients are risk stratified with myelofibrosis. So usually the most commonly used risk stratification tool is something called the DIPSS, which is the Dynamic International Prognostic Scoring System. It includes five clinical variables, age, um, anemia, so hemoglobin less than 10, the presence of constitutional symptoms, those are fevers, night sweats, weight loss, uh, the presence of peripheral blood blasts, so even one, one blast in the peripheral blood smear is a, is a negative prognostic indicator, and um, a white count greater than 25,000. These are added up, and then there are four discrete risk categories, low, intermediate one, intermediate two, and high risk. So depending on which risk score you fall in, uh, sort of predicts how well you, you're going to do overall, but more importantly, um, helps tailor what therapy um, you should consider. So low-risk patients, for example, can, uh, for the most part, follow a watch and wait approach, uh, whereas um, patients that fall in intermediate two or high risk um, often require therapeutic intervention. For patients that have a, a suitable donor and are of transplant um, eligible age, Hematopoietic stem cell transplantation offers the potential for cure um, at a risk that's not insignificant and must be weighed on a case-by-case -case basis. Um, and then for other patients, um, ruxolinib, which is the only FDA-approved drug, is a, is a reasonable drug uh, to improve symptomatology, reduction in spleen size. Um, and the other therapies are truly uh, experimental. Um, uh, so, for example, 39110, which we're presenting at ASH, is a, is a drug that falls in the experimental category for patients who have symptoms who perhaps um, have uh, low platelets or a certain degree of anemia and um, a JAK2 inhibitor would worsen that. The, the 39110 drug would be an appropriate option, therapeutic option for those patients.